Now that the walls are placed, it's easy to add doors and windows in 2D, 3D, or elevation views. Using the Window tool, we'll click on a wall to place a window. To resize the window, stretch it to the desired size. Every architectural object placed contains a significant amount of information that can be specified. Let's double-click on this window and take a closer look. Notice all the panels that are available to customize the window. Window Types, Dimensions, Window Options, Casing, Lights, Framing, Energy Values, and several others. As changes are made, the preview panel updates. Click OK to confirm the selections. The 3D view will reflect the same changes. I will place the remaining windows to save design time. In Chief Architect, you can create numerous styles of windows or use manufacturer-specific windows. Placing doors works just like windows. There are several default styles to choose from – sliding, pocket, barn, and several others. I'll place a hinged door for the entry and resize it. When I select the door in the plan view, a set of temporary dimensions can be used to precisely locate the door. The door can also be located using manual dimensions. Dimensions can be used to locate casings, centers, rough openings, and sides. Using the center tool, the door can be exactly centered in the room. Click the door, then the center tool, and then the item to center it on, in this case, the entryway room. To change the door's swing or hinge side, click on either the Change Opening Hinge Side or Change Swing Side button. Again, to save time, I'll place the remaining doors for our house. And that's how easy it is to place windows and doors with Chief Architect.